Well, today is our day of hope. A hungry child, a starving family right here in Southern Nevada. The number of people going without food every single day continues to rise and the COVID-19 pandemic has made matters worse. That's why 13 Action News right now is teaming up with Hope for the City to work wonders for the Las Vegas community, and we are calling it the Day of Hope. And we have 13 Action News anchor Nina Porshukula joining us live right now from Central Church in Henderson to explain how you can help or how you can get some help that you might need. Nina? That's right. We have volunteers out here early in the morning. We also have lines of cars already out here. But first, we want to get to Pastor Judd Wilhite. He's actually a pastor here at Central Church. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate you coming out here. So please tell us, what is the relationship between Hope for the City and Central Church? Well, Hope for the City grew out of, of Central. We started a food pantry 15 years ago that uh, grew and grew and grew and eventually became the largest in the state. And um, Hope for the City is now um, some a organization that we partner with to help continue servicing the food needs in the area of Las Vegas. And you are able to help out a lot of families, individuals in the community throughout this really tough time, uh, throughout the whole pandemic with being able to provide food as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, well, we've been out here since uh, day two of the shutdown and uh, we've been working faithfully, serving families, four and a half million pounds of food uh, distributed to um, hundreds of thousands of individuals over the last 13 weeks uh, just in this pandemic. And we're just working as hard as we can. We know that that food insecurity need, it hasn't fully gone away. It's still there for a lot of people. And so we're seeing people show up every day. We're still uh, giving out hundreds of thousands of pounds of food a week. And uh, I think that need is going to follow us for some time. Right. And actually, outside the church, we have a sign that says, it's okay not to be okay. And that is a message that we are sending out to people up here. Uh, we are facing a very uncertain time right now. And some people are going through something that they never thought they yes. would face ever. And that's also a message that we are sending. Absolutely. I mean, people coming through to get food, have never many of them have never asked for anything in their life and so we just try to remove all shame all judgment uh it's not um you know this is just a zone where we say hey it's okay to not be okay we love you we're here for you we want to give you food and hope absolutely and that is the message that we are also trying to send out all this morning thank you so much and for folks who want to help out maybe you want to donate maybe you want to volunteer we have all of that information for you. This is where you need to go. It's ktnb.com slash day of hope. All of that information for you all in that link so that you can either get the help you need or maybe you can help out people in our community who need that much needed assistance. Reporting live, Nina Bushu, 13 Action News. All right, Nina, thank you so much. And during her live shot, you can see Chopper over the area with long, long lines of cars there waiting to get the food that they need. So really glad that this day is happening. Now, if you want to help or if you need assistance, you can head over to ktv.com slash day of hope or you can call 855-922-2711.